damage. You cannot stop that misinformation that's out there and still floating around. There's a fake COVID-19 alert making its way around the internet, claiming it's five times more toxic than any other variant out there and even deadly. My next guest is clearing all of this up. And joining us now here on The Factor Uncensored, we have with us Dr. Donna Jean-Lee from Arch Point Pain Institute. Dr. Ali, earlier today, my sister sent me a text saying that there was a new alert out indicating that there is a new form of COVID that is deadlier, harder to treat. And immediately I sent it to you to see if it was true. Could you verify this? And you were able to do your due diligence and your research. And what did you find out? Yeah, Isaiah, there are messages going on right now, especially on social media. We've seen some Facebook posts as well as folks sending it on WhatsApp group that there is this new variant, the XBB variant, that is uh, presenting itself as a more deadlier form. It's presenting with no cough, no fever, none of the constitutional symptoms that, we're know, that we know exist with COVID. And with the due diligence that we did, the research that we've done, I've done on the COVID, uh, or I'm sorry, CDC's website, Side, um, and uh, looked at this. This variant uh, in this message is actually v completely false, and uh, there is not a new variant that is the XBB variant that is dominant right now, and that is presenting with these sorts of different symptoms. And so that message that's going around should be stopped, and um, and folks do need to look into this. And and we need to discuss the fact that the symptoms are still very similar to what. That they have been. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have been seeing newer variants, Isaiah, and these newer variants do present and are often uh, difficult to treat because they are mutating and changing in their uh, way that they present. And so that's what happens is that it becomes more difficult for us to treat with vaccines, antiviral medications. And so Though that um, this uh, message is completely false, this text is, uh, these texts that are going around, but there are variants that are out there right now, and these variants are causing symptoms. They are causing folks to get sick and end up in the hospital. But again, it's not like we've seen with the Omicron and the Delta variants. These variants still are present, but not as highly contagious and highly resulting in those hospitalizations like we say we saw uh, years ago. Now, I recently saw some headlines over the last week or so, but there has been an increase over the summer in COVID cases. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. But yeah, it's not so this XBB version. That is correct. That, yeah. So throw that out the window. That's, That's correct. Totally this, false. Actually, this variant, Isaiah, came out in 2022. And so this variant has been out for a long period of time, the XBB. And this is not uh, what we're seeing in these messages and what we're seeing in these posts. This is not what we're really seeing that is a high variant right now. And it's in these uh, messages about that it doesn't cause fever, chills, doesn't present with those symptoms, is it and difficult to treat, et cetera. That is all false. Those messages are false. However, there are other variants, and we have noticed an increase in the number of cases during the summer months. What's interesting about COVID, I say, is that it doesn't follow the normal pattern of seasonality, meaning that normally, like with flu, we see that more commonly during the autumn and fall season. COVID makes double peaks. It peaks around the holiday times, uh, fall, um, and also it rises during the summer as well. So there's this wave that we're seeing, and that's what we're catching on to is the end tail wave of that wave that we're seeing is where folks who were out and about, and now that school's even started, we're seeing those rises in the cases of the uh, from the summer, uh, especially from some of the variants that are going on right now. And for those who want to be, who want to remain cautious, what would be your advice to them, the best course of action? Yeah, Isaiah, so currently speaking, uh, if the patient is 
you know, otherwise in good health, less than 65 years of age, and does not have any immunocompromised uh, diseases or pathology, meaning they're not on immunosuppressants or pregnant or uh, have cancer. Those are the folks that CDC is right now recommending that you wait for the newest uh, variant that's coming out in the vaccine booster. We anticipate in the next two to four weeks, we will have a new booster, a new vaccine out that will be able able to treat and help prevent some of those newer um, variants that we're seeing. And again, let me rephrase this, prevent, uh, and it doesn't fully prevent it. Uh, it does cause a decrease in the amount of cases that we're seeing, mm -hmm. decrease in the transmission, and the severity of symptoms. And so if you fall in that category where you're healthy, you're less than 65 years of age, and you're not immunocompromised, then wait two to four weeks and get yourself that new boost booster that's coming out that will help with some of these newer variants that are um, going to be coming out uh, and be present uh, in society and also the ones that we've been dealing with for the during the summertime. And of course, that'll do it for the Factor Uncensored. And of course, make sure you download the Fox Soul app and go to foxsoul.tv and check out the Factor Uncensored and many other shows like the Nightcap and of course, Fox Face Off. And soon to come, chatting with Chelsea. I don't know why I want to say cheating with Chelsea. That's, that's just not a title you want. But thank you guys for joining us and make sure you join Chelsea's new show, Monday here on Fox 26.